Hello, welcome folks. I hope you're doing well in terms of your health and safety during this COVID time. Today we're talking about business opportunities or the segments where you can look at health and you can do something, um, learn a few things about that business or that trick or that trade and you can help yourself during these tough times and the time to come in future. So today, first thing we're talking about is farming agriculture, which can be done uh, or you can produce a few things in your house, in your home or in your backyard or fun chart. Um, the basis what I have uh, taken is Google search or Google trend and it shows the interest over time. Like I've taken past 12 months, what has happened in terms of the search and the research. Now it shows say during uh, the, the second week of March where the whole world was uh, hit by this pandemic across um, it, it, it dipped a little bit uh, but it still picked up after that uh, say in, in about a month's time and then it's again uh, going um, in, in, in an upper side the point here what I'm trying to make is um, the the homegrown or the local produce is not searched as much as what the industrial farming or the commercial farming or farming in general is being searched. So there's this arrow at the end says the gap where uh, there's a, so much of a potential on the local produce or homegrown produce segment that can be searched that can be worked on and you can produce your own consumption without relying much on to the industrial farming or the commercial farming which uh, with due respect to each and every farmer on this earth uh, they are doing their best, they are going through their own challenges, they are going through their own tough times but to help them indirectly you can help yourself first you can start producing a little bit of your own consumption which will help you in terms of learning some skill second you producing your own consumption so the reliability is much more um, there in terms of your own hard work will yield or produce or result in your own um, output and this definitely gives you much more potential here in terms of if you produce a little more you can sell that produce to your neighbors or your local community which can bring in some sort of revenue or cash to you which again you can deploy for your next produce next cycle of your produce so go out, learn on this, uh, on internet I would say, um, there is so much that can be done, um, green produce or green uh, salads or, or a little bit of pulses or a little bit of um, small things which you can produce within your own domain. So go out and look for something that you can do on your own, there is a help out available online. Second subject again I have taken basis the first one is food. Now food is one thing which you, me or our families we need at least one time a day, twice a day, thrice a day. If the food is being searched, if you see the light blue color across the globe. Second thing which is searched is it seems a restaurant or some sort of food joint which can help people to buy and eat done third thing or fourth thing which is i've taken is food delivery uber eats and homemade and if you see uber eats or food delivery or homemade uh, is is uh, very low right now the opportunity which i see here is if you are preparing food for yourself you can equally start that small activity and you can sell that produce to people in your local area to your community yes you go to market you will tell your community that hey i'm producing or i'm um, cooking or i'm making some food if you are interested i'll cook for you but i'll charge you x amount so that 
they save on time because uh, I believe people are working from home. Uh, they have meetings to attend over Zoom or online or phone calls or doing some sort of project sitting at home. So they can take your help. You can be of help to them. But equally, this gives an opportunity to you to uh, do something uh, right from your own kitchen. Right. So this is second activity or second area where you can develop uh, your, your niche or your activity or your speciality and move forward in life. Third thing I'm taking is again basis the past two things because everybody is now getting health conscious. Uh, I've taken a subject of vegetarian or vegan or green salad or fruits or dried foods. Now if you see the search for vegan is the topmost. Then comes your fruits, then comes your vegetarian stuff, green salad and uh, um, dried fruit is at the bottom. Now what are my message here is people are going more health conscious, the search or research is more towards health, more towards green, more towards vegan. So what you can do is you can buy vegetables or buy fruits, process them at home and then again go out and sell in your local community or uh, in your neighborhood. Right? By doing so, what you're doing is you're putting in effort, you're washing, uh, you're cutting them, you're um, packing them and you're going out and delivering them to your neighborhood they get the stuff ready to eat fresh clean hygiene uh, they save on time they save on all that effort which they are putting in in their work again in terms of the zoom meetings or the online meetings or doing the projects or working out from the back end so it's a win-win for you and your community and your neighbors to to eat consume healthy and be be more uh, or developing immunity in this uh, current uh, difficult time next what I have taken is uh, health um, gym gym equipment fitness gear, fitness gears and wellness now if you see health is paramount everybody is searching for health second is gymming people are looking at a little bit of uh, exercising uh, then comes wellness where people want to uh, consume or have better stuff for themselves yet uh, be healthy then comes the fitness gear or the, the gym equipment now the idea here is you can market you can um, either sell or you can put the, the gym equipments or fitness gears uh, either sell or onto rental as well right in this way uh, you are providing the gear to your prospective customer or client at his or her doorstep they instead of investing they get the gear or the equipment on rental and they can keep fit you can help your neighborhood your community your surrounding uh, a little health conscious little exercise conscious and yet make a little bit of money from your own investment into your gym equipment or fitness gears and keep that activity going on right this again has a massive potential because um, the, the gap between the search for health and the equipment or the equipment rental or the fitness gear is massive so go out and help as many people as you can but you you got to market you got to go out and talk to people uh, offline and online all right um, next I've taken a little bit of uh, vocational activity kind of songwriting or a music composition or a music band if you are uh, like-minded people around uh, a little bit of acting online or singing online um, internet or uh, webs, um, social media is out there for your help you can do these things offline and then come online and deliver now what happens is when you say you've written a song and you've um, 
either published it online or sung it by yourself online or with help of say a small music band or you've written something which you've acted online then the social media is a platform which will take your art your creativity out to the world and there are people during these times looking for content looking for some sort of entertainment which is not a stereotype which is not made which is very genuine uh, you built up your audience yeah and you never know somebody comes up with uh, an offer for a project or um, some sort of an assignment right so bring it out which is in there which was um, there but you could not explore during the rat race of before corona time or covid time now it's a time where you explore and you uh, give yourself time um, to 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 bring this uh, creativity or art which is there within you and you give it to the world doesn't matter uh, don't don't feel shy don't feel um like how can i do it you can do it practice offline um practice in front of your family uh, members or practice in front of a mirror right and you then once you've practiced there's a the confidence which comes in you your performance and then bring it on to social media and trust me there are people out there looking out for some sort of natural Um, a raw kind of content or a piece of art or piece of work which they can take it forward right okay next thing what we are taking is an extension of art and craft but this time it is to do with some sort of an external material which can be coloring on to paper or canvas or sewing some sort of uh, stuff Um, or a handmade stuff like a crochet or um, stitching or knitting or something or some sort of pencil drawing right? now if you see after corona the impact the search for sewing has gone the roof then there are uh, people who are doing coloring activities um, pencil drawing activities or handmade activities there is so much of potential out there that you develop this products you put them on to uh, online stores for selling you can put them on to your page on a facebook or you can make a static website um, put that website again out there market so you can you can market your creativity but you got to do you got to build your store you got to build your uh, stock and then market on to social platform social media so what happens is again your creativity is out there on social media different platform there is a sizable population which is watching which is searching for some sort of a product a handmade product or a sewed product or a, a colored product or or a, a pencil drawn to a paper or a piece of uh, canvas which they can use or they can further market out there to their own community and crowd so go out develop the stuff give it to the world the world will definitely make use of that uh, product of yours right um, then i'm taking a little contrast but this is one thing which constantly is running onto my mind which is scrap now there can be a metal scrap there can be a non ferrous scrap there can be a plastic scrap there can be a paper scrap or a recycling now what i'm saying this there's so much of a production commodity production which is happening out there in the world yes during the corona time the production would have come down but still there is so much of uh, produce which is out there now it there's, there's so much of a scrap uh, if if you look right now in your own house or in your own home i'm pretty sure you will come up with 10 different things which you have not used for, for ages 10 different things which you have not used for years 10 different things which you have not used for months now all those things which are not being used can be sold 
I'm not saying those are scrap, but I'm saying scrap in terms of they've not been used. Then there is a little scrap which is a leftover after the use. Then there is a metal scrap or a non-ferrous scrap um, or a plastic scrap or a paper scrap which is there outside your home which you can um, maybe you go out and search and pick it up and collect work is work don't feel shy or you can deploy people or you can go out and buy that scrap recycle it or do some sort of value add to that scrap and then again go back to the market and sell it you can involve yourself you can involve family members you can involve your friend circle or somebody to add a bit of uh, value to this whole process of collecting uh, doing some sort of uh, positive activity onto that and then selling out further because this this is a whole value chain there is a value chain you just come in you add some value and um, give that value added product out there to somebody who again will add value and he or she they move forward that product further right so pretty much there's so much out there that can be done the next thing again an extension is there's a bit of reuse or recycle or a reduce or a scrap or a landfill now so much of the mass production or uh, those goods and material and usables and wearables and um, even the, the the food material or there's so much that can be reused or it can be recycled or in the first place you reduce your consumption you see how much you need you budget right so this is one area where you can sit back think realign the inflow and the outflow of the things in your life and make it a little bit commercial try and avoid things going to the landfill because that pollutes the land that pollutes the whole environment so first thing if you look at your consumption if you try and apply minimalism into your life so reduce your consumption then whatever you consume maybe you reuse if you can't reuse then maybe you recycle right so once we reduce stop waste then we are adding um, to the environment as an in terms of positivity uh, that helps anybody and everybody but definitely you can make a small opportunity or a work out of this activity as well and you can help you can coach you can guide your community your neighborhood your um, surrounding you can come online and coach people as well tell people you can pick up one subject you can study about it you can tell to people online similarly what i am doing right now make a video make a series make uh, a build up a conversation bring in awareness that also will yield in a little bit of revenue to you not directly not immediately but going forward it will bring in revenue for you so make the most of it from this subject as well then we come cleaning now we all know what we all are going through right so this is one subject we all have to seriously consider now cleaning starts from yourself to your family to your home to your society to your neighborhood to your community to your uh, city your town right now if you see the search here cleaning is being searched and it's at the top of the list then comes pollution then comes your hygiene sanitization and then ultimately again the landfill so going back to that previous side reduce um, keep reduce your consumption which will reduce uh, or have an indirect impact on the pollution whatever is your surrounding the physical one try and keep it clean keep 
a discipline. Keep sanitizing yourself, your home, your society, your um, surrounding. Right? This all small small steps will help us. But how well? Uh, why do you make a business opportunity out of this? You can sell cleaning commodities. You can sell cleaning services. You can sell sanitizing products. You can provide uh, cleaning opportunities. You can uh, profess about all this, especially in a series, maybe online, maybe in person to person, but keeping the social distance out there. Right. So this also is a massive opportunity out there in the current scenario and in future to come. Right. This is an online um, segment. You can sell online. You can solve problems online. You can market online. Um, last two are digital marketing, online marketing. If you see, digital marketing has been on the top. It's uh, it's, it's um, going strong and strong. People are marketing their products and services online. There are so many channels out there, YouTube, Google, website, Facebook, online uh, portals or in online selling portals like sort of Amazon or eBay or Etsy or Shopify or um, Squarespace. There are so many. So going back to the previous slides and those art and craft or your home production or home produce or your cleaning activities or cleaning material you can market on the online platform so explore this segment out there help yourself take the learning online or uh, build up a network um, learn as much as you can and start selling a bit from here this also will help you to start earning yes there's competition out there but you got to do what you got to do for yourself so go out learn and sell or solve help people even in helping people you can make money there are people who are ready to pay money if somebody can guide them solve their problem and genuinely solve the problem genuinely uh, sell genuine products and services and in short to mid to long term you will definitely uh, make a killing right um, then we are heading to um, again learning it's an extension of the previous slide you learn as much as you can you can then teach as much as you can um, take up a subject take up a pain point which people are suffering which people are going through the pain and then um, help them share the knowledge share the wisdom right so this is one uh, I think yeah um, we've come to the end now these are what I thought basis the search which is going on uh, in, in Google um, people are looking out for things people are looking out for help people are looking out for something what they can do something what they can uh, do for themselves the families their surrounding their neighborhood and be busy be constructively busy and not getting stressed with uh, 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 being laid off or the, the shop getting shut or uh, the activities getting slow jump on to something else start building up don't worry about competition just do what you need to do just go after what you need to do to keep yourself busy constructively to um, build your next business activity to earn some revenue uh, for today and for tomorrow and for time to come um, this is what I can think of and I've made this for you uh, maybe it helps if you have something in your mind, if you have some question, if you have some uh, point that you need an answer or you need a guidance, please feel free to put that into the comment section. If you're here on this channel for the first time, I would appreciate uh, if you can subscribe, hit that bell icon 
and give a thumbs up and even if you have not liked this video make even a negative comment or a sarcastic comment uh, more than happy to take any and every thought on board uh, but my wish uh, is that you have the best days ahead in your life with this i end this video and we'll see you in the next one thank you